people don't understand how hard life is in diaspora. Yet familia ukiwatumia pesa wanafikiria wewe umekuwa billionaire. Guys, this is bad. This is getting bad. People are holding diasporians at ransom. Kama sio mimi niliuza shamba ungeenda huko. Kwa hivyo mimi am everything. Kwa unatuma pesa every time. The little thing you send, they are not appreciative. Kuna wengine unawatumia pesa they they have adopted a high lifestyle because unajua every time utatuma pesa. Saseni team safeguarding Nauliza aje Wala watu wote mko diaspora Have you guys watched this video That Judy and I did About Scammers na vila wana target Watu ya diaspora Honestly watu ya diaspora Tafadhalini from wherever you are Ndani ya diaspora Haijalishi kama ni Africa Diaspora ya Africa Diaspora ya You know Asia where ni Qatar, Dubai, United Emirates, diaspora ya Europe including UK, Germany and all that. Ama uko Canada, ama uko US, ama wherever. As long as uko diaspora. Kuna scammers ambaye wamekuwa wabaya sana especially ndani ya Kenya. Wale ambaye wamekuwa na tabia mbaya ya kuhakikisha the beautiful work, the beautiful things that what were diaspora munafanya they want to bring it to not wanataka kuiharibu wanajua you guys work very hard they know that but wa pia wako na another mindset scammers uh wako na another mindset ya kwamba watu wa diaspora huwa wanaokota pesa siji wanafikiria watu wanaokotanga pesa chini ama wanaokota pesa pesa zina una harvest kwa miti ama ni namna gani but they have a mindset that hakuna wakati wewe unaweza kosa pesa wewe you are rich it doesn't matter to them how unapata pesa namna gani but they want to scam you for every little penny that they can get they want to scam you haijalishi what means they want to use they will do anything scammers ndani ya Kenya na scammers tulifanya video uh, Judy and I the other day and we identified four things that are critical zile ambazo scammers wanatumia scammers wanatumia watoto sana wanatumia watoto with all sort of things kutoka magonjwa kutoka mambo ya shule watoto wako na njaa watoto hawana nguo they will do anything scammers kusema watoto hawana hii na hii ili uweze kuwatumia pesa kuna wengine wanasema wao ni wasamaria wema wanataka kujenga children's home wanataka kuwa wanafanyia watoto hivi wanafanya watoto counseling wanafanya feeding program wana all sort of things scammers will go to any length kuhakikisha kwamba you have part with your money with your dollars with your pounds with your euros with your dinaris they will do anything to kuhakikisha mapokea your canadian dollars they don't care they will use any means necessary wakupate wewe na pesa zako so mimi nataka mu understand kuhusu the need for for people in diaspora to be extra careful because munafanya kazi na nguvu sana you work hard you try everything people work in difficult places people work with difficult clients and situations to try and make some money to try and earn a better living but zaidi ya hapo watu wa diaspora wanapenda kusaidia watu nyumbani sana kwa sababu wanaelewa mambo ya ta, matabu na mashida watu ya diaspora wameufunguka macho wana understand vile systems inafanya kama ni mambo ya watoto kulinda watoto kuangalia kuangalia vulnerable adults community people have understood this because their eyes have been enlightened by being out there in other countries and in other continents and you know in other different places of work so with your beautiful heart unakuja vizuri wewe unafikiria mtu wako sawa but is a scammer we identified another um way scammers wana wana scam watu pia ni kwa sio watoto peke yake hata adults unaambua yeye huyu mtu mtu ni mgonjwa huyu mama ni mgonjwa huyu mama hana nyumba 
Hui mama anewa kongwe, hui mama ni mjane, hui mama ako hivi, huyu ni disabled. They will go to any length. Na ukijaribu kuambia uatumie kitu fulani kuliko pesa, they don't want. They want you to part with your money and send it to them and then they want them to tell you they are managing what they are telling you or they are lying to you on a manage. Or else you ni wongo. To identify another issue, what were diaspora wengi? And I know this one. Honestly, guys, he A lot of us have gone through this. Hakuna, very unlikely, ukute mtu wako diaspora hajawai, fanya ka investment pahali ya kakuta amekodiwa. Umeambua kuhuzu, kuna kashamba, kana uzo hapo, karibu, you know, kwenu, a prime plot, hezi na uzo vizuri na nini na nini na nini. All of a sudden, you get to know that is a scam. Unambua zingine zikona title D, clean title D. Unambua zingine zimeviringiwa, zikona maji, zikona stima. No! A lot of lands, plots. Mashamba, unanunua shamba, unaenda unakuta hiyo shamba, inakuja after a few years. Sio, unambua hiyo shamba sio yako. Hiyo shamba hata ule likuzia likuwa meiba. All sort of things. Land na mambo ya investment imekuwa mingi. Mambo ya investment baka kama ya forex. Watu wanakuja unambua hey, nunua hii class, nunua hii package, nunua hii. We discuss these things in a video that is detailed. Another four, fourth way we identified ambaya watu wana uh, fanyua scammers. And this is the most disheartening one. Near familia. Familia wa sikuizu wamekua scammers. A lot of us have families that really do not care about people who are in diaspora. Wanafikiria pesa sinawakoto kwa miti. Unafagia pesa, unaenda kazi kufagia pesa ukiziokota. This is what their mindset is about. Hawajui watu wanafanya kazi usiku na mchana. Tuliongea kuhusu vile familia wana kujanga huku wakua pamoja, muna penana we na bibi yako na buwana yako na familia yenyu na watoto. Mkikuja huku ni kwa sababu ya mambo ya pressure. Na vile the whole you know, diaspora life is about. Unakuta sasa hata kama mlikuwa mmependana sana. You've started to drift away from each other. Because of the, the pressures that are in diaspora. Watu hawaonani. People do not relate very well because you don't find time to have family time. You have very limited time to uh, communicate, to share. Mungine unakuta kama mkona watoto mungu watapanja nafanya kazi usiku mungine mchana. You meet at the door. Muna pishana. Of course the pressures that uh, hau, hauna familia, hauna uh, watu close. So hata unakuta hata sasingine hata mkiko sana na mtu. Kuweza kurisolve your issue inakuwa ni very difficult because there is no that time. Ama hakuna watu ambaye munaza kuelewa. Huku watu sasingine wanga, they, you don't even talk to your neighbor. People mkikutano kwa barabara kuliko mseme jambo jambo vile watu wamezoe huku Afrika. They do this. Hiyo tunaitaka plastic smile. That's what they do. So it's, people don't understand how hard life is in diaspora. Yet familia ukiwatumia pesa, wanafikiria wewe umekua bilionea wakua unatuma pesa hivi. Ni nani hapa naiza kuja kusema yeye amekua na familia yake na they have been angels. Wamekua sawa. Hawa kuambi utume pesa every weekend, every week, every month. Na ukiwatumia ile kidogo ukonae wanaanza kuzusha, wanapika kelele. Kuna wazazi ambaye they are not content. They will never be content. Kuna familia they will never be content. Nili kuzaha, nika kusomesha, nika fanya nini. Sasa umeenda ulaya, umeanza maringo, nini, nini. There are some people that don't talk to their parents. They don't talk to their siblings. Hawa ungeleshani na their auntie. Kwa sababu sasa auntie yako, alikuja kwa harambe yako wakati ulikuwa na chang, unafanya kamchango kidogo. Ya kuja UK upate ticket. Alikuja hapa wakatua shilingi elfu tano. Sasa uwezi kuongea. Kwa sababu ya ndi alikuleta ulaya. Guys, this is bad. This is getting bad. People are holding diasporians at ransom. Kama siyo mimi ni luza shamba ungeenda uko. Kwa hivyo, mimi, I'm everything. Kuwa unatuma pesa every time. Every, the little thing you send, they are not appreciative. Kuna wengine unawatumia pesa, they, they have adopted a high lifestyle. Because unajua every time unatuma pesa. People cannot talk because, sasa wewe ni kazini yangu na nagua na kutumia kitu kidogo. Unanyamazicha watu the village yote. Uh -uh. This is it guys. I think what we are diaspora wame choka and I think it's necessary what we are US kama squeezy ata siyo watu wa uko inje pekiao. Family wenyewe, they are bad. Unambia watu wa kunulie pahali ka plot uweze kujenga ata kama ni rentals. They wana kula pesa. Unambia watu wa kunulie shamba wana kula pesa. 
kwa wale watu hata wako na shamba kama ni za familia na umegawa kidogo hapo unawaambia wakuanzie kukujengea wanakupigia picha kwa neighbors they don't do it so unashangaa sasa kama familia wananifanya hivi na my neighbors na friends na nikijaribu watu wengine it's not working so guys tafadhali wale watu wako diaspora Usikubali kudanganywa hii ni mo. Just get to know. Siku hizi online scammers wamejaa everywhere. Wanajaribu kukudanganya from every angle. And those are just bad four things tuliweza kuangalia katika hii video nimewaambia. Hii video nitawaekea link hapa. Please go watch this video. This video tumeongea in details about what is happening and how people in diaspora are scammed by people that are back home including our family yetu mwaongoja family hata ndio wabaya kwa sababu family yao wanafaa kuwa wanakupenda wanafaa kuwa wako on your side wanafaa kuwa wanakuombea wanaomba Mungu akubariki kazi ya mikono yao most of them nowadays they just curse you usipotuma tu pesa kidogo hivi hata maybe mambo yako imeenda vibaya one month hujapata kazi usipotuma tu pesa hivi they start cursing you angalia huyu mtu ni sijui ni nini inafanya atutume pesa hapa huyu mtu anajua kama sio sisi hangeenda huyu mtu anajua kama singeuza ngombe hangeenda huyu mtu anajua kama sio maombi yetu hangeenda everybody is cursing at somebody in diaspora kwa sababu hajafanya haja vile anataka sasa unashangaa si mimi niko na life yangu si ni mko na familia yangu si niko na nini why don't you let me be allow and appreciate the little help that i help na kutumia and that's it be content so what we are diaspora tafadhali join ya kwamba things yameharibika and then uko kwa hiyo video muende muangalie muone what we are saying and we are saying ni vizuri watu kuwa kwa ground things are hard times are hard and it's about time that people learn and understand that diasporians have done their part to be honest diaspora are the ones that does the greatest remittances ndani ya Kenya ukiangalia hata wildlife haitumi pesa mingi kama wale watu wa diaspora so diaspora should be really appreciated wakuwe honored and respected sio kukuwa just trash na kila mtu anaongelelea mambo mbaya what do they are not appreciating what diaspora are doing for them they may not be sending you the amount of money that you want but at least they are sending you the little that they got they have their own life kwa hivyo let them be so what we are diaspora tafadhali najua tunapendana na tunapenda familia tunapenda kusaidia mpaka watu huko nje but people have become bad people people have become scammers they have enriched themselves by scamming others watu wanatumia watoto wanatumia wakongwe wanatumia wajane wanatumia widows wanatumia investment to make sure they are going to scam you and you are going to part with your money hard working sweat difficult times unajua sijui kama nyinyi mnaelewa kuna watu mimi nishafanya kazi kwa freezer freezer unafanya kazi umevalisha glove but mikono imeganda na katakata kuku you know shafanya kazi kwa mafuta you don't stop mafuta inakuja kwa nini non stop ukichelewa tu hivyo ujarini moja ianguka chini mshahara wako inakatwa guys watu wanafanya kazi kwa mahoteli they don't stop and then you send watu pesa wanaanza fujo na ghasia ni kama wao ndio wanafanya kazi huku wewe umeajiriwa huku watu wanachapa job tatu nne mtu ana connect mtu umeanzia ka biashara kako ka employment kako wewe ndio unajifanyia kazi non stop Watu huku hata mtu alikuja wewe huku unapenda Mungu naenda kanisani every you know Sunday uko kwa maombi whatever whatever people don't even get the time to do that wakijaribu eti kushikanisha ili waweze kujenga maisha mazuri and then they found hey hata siwi kuelezea hiki tu then you nakutana na scammers wanakuscam from every angle no diaspora tumechoka and i think it's about time diasporians please before usaidie mtu yote do your due diligence fanya the necessary chimbua kama uko kwa ground do everything before you can send your penny otherwise hawa watu wametuzoea vibaya please tungependa kama unajua usha safa you have a story that you can share a video story unaweza kujichukua tu a small clip ututumie katika safeguardingwatoto@gmail.com especially kama inahusu vulnerable adults ama watoto I'm a family. Because everything that we do is about children and is about family. So do a small clip. Either way you do it kama ni unafanya portrait ama landscape doesn't matter. Hii yangu ni landscape size because inaweka kwa YouTube. So but hata ukifanya kama ni ya TikTok bado ni sawa. We can fix it. So tupatie story kidogo kama ushawahi kuwa scammed. 
if you've been scammed by people tafadhali tupatie your experience and tutafanya hizo combinations za uh, watu and hopefully we can continue to educate one another kwa sababu tukua ndani ya diaspora lazima tupendane kuna watu wanasema we are the 48th county in Kenya and therefore we have to be together we have to educate one another kama kuna mtu ambaye unajua kuna kitu ambaye ulifanya ama kuna mbinu uliweza kujua ili usikuwe scammed share with us so that we can share with the others so that watu wajue jinsi ya kutokuwa scammed especially with family and uh, investment mambo za mashamba na nini plots ni vizuri sana ni hayo tu watu wangu please i put the link here go and watch the video it's a detailed video and god at our bless thank you guys i pray that you are okay and at least hautakuwa scammed kuwa careful na your hard and cash i know we love to be generous but let's be careful Nyo yeah, watu wangu God bless you I'll see you in my next one